students, welcome back to the Heath. Last time we met, it was tense circumstances. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth were on their way up to their bedchamber to pretend as if nothing has happened. Certainly that they haven't been involved in a, an assassination of a king. Uh, after all that tenseness, it's time for Shakespeare to apply some satire and comic relief to the text. So we're going to go to Inverness Castle. Now, the castle walls, the castle door is guarded by a gentleman known as the Porter, and he's going to give a satirical speech we're we'll analysing today's lesson. The Porter is here. Now, this gentleman is going to open the door, respond to that knocking. That's going to be later on this evening, but until then, he has to occupy his time a rather large bottle of beer. <laughs> so, we'll join him later on, after he's had his refreshment, as usual, and hear what he has to say. Here's a knocking indeed. The man of the port of Elgate, he should have all turning the key. Knock, 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 who's there in the name of Beelzebub? Here's a farmer that hangs himself, on the expectation of plenty. Come in time, have napkins, you know, about you. Here, you'll swear for it. Knock, knock, who's there in the other devil's name? Faith, here's an equivocator. Who could swear in both the scales against either scale? Who committed treason enough for God's sake? Yet could not equivocate to Helen. Oh, come in, equivocator. Knock, 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 who's there? Faith, here's an English tailor come hither. For stealing out of a French hose. Come in, a tailor. Here you may roast your goose. Knock, knock, never at quiet. What are you? But this place is too cold for hell. I'll devil porter it no further. I thought to have let in some of all professions that go the primrose way to the everlasting bonfire. Anon, anon, I pray you, remember the porter. 